Hi, I'm Valen Murphy. Welcome to Play by Play Sports Network. I'm with Mason and Simon. Today we're going to be discussing LeBron's stay and leaving in Cleveland and a couple of baseball updates. And before we start, we have two sponsors, Starbucks and McDonald's. Um, our first topic is, will LeBron stay in Cleveland or will LeBron leave? Mason, what's your opinion? I think that he'll go to the Lakers with Paul George. Um, and I think he will stay in Cleveland after they acquire Kawhi Leonard. And because of the draft point guard they acquired in Kyle Sexton, I think he's going to have more help and he'll think he'll be able to contend with Golden State for a championship. He can, he'll feel more comfortable and he'll think he can get more rings in Cleveland, so he'll be able to stay. What's your like reasoning for why he'll stay in LA? Um, I, I just, I feel like his time with Cleveland is up and um, he, I feel like he's trying to go somewhere else and if he has help like Paul George and other rookies and young people like Lonzo Ball, I feel like he can win another championship. Alright, that's his opinion. Now let's go to Simon with a baseball update. Alright, well, how do you think about how Juan Soto is doing this year? What are your opinions? Well, I think he's a great young star, and I think he can like be better, but I'm not sure if he's like reaching to the top of his potential, and I think he can still get much, much better. I think he um, is, and he's young, so he just has more to learn, but I think he's going to be really good. We have a caller coming in. This is Chris. Chris. Hey, I heard y'all talk about Soto. So I was there for Soto's first home run in the major leagues. It was awesome. Personally, I think we don't need Bryce Harper with the Nationals. Let him go in free agency. We have Soto. Let's build around him. Why spend almost $500 million on Bryce Harper? We can keep his young stud in our prospects. What do y'all think about that? Yeah, I think Harper's going to be traded at the deadline to either Philly, Chicago, or the, or the Yankees. Um, I think if they want to win now, Harper's a better player. Soto can be better in like the future. The question is if they want to win now or not, and if they don't, they can trade him and like hope for Soto and maybe like get prospects from another team. But I think if they want to win now, Harper's a better player. I'm saying right now that Harper's got more experience than Soto, but Soto's having a better year than than Harper. Yeah, but Harper has the potential to burst out at any moment because he's still a great player. I feel like Harper's a better player and you shouldn't trade him because even though Soto's really good, he's still really young and it's risky if you trade away someone that you already know is good. So, yeah. You know Harper's in a slump, he's still a good player. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we have another caller. This is Sam. Sam, what would you like to talk to us Hi, about? I'm Sam, and I just want to say, what? okay, we talked about LeBron. What do you think Kawhi Leonard's going to do? Is he going to get traded, or do you think he's going to wait a year and hit free agency and maybe go to L.A.? I think San Antonio wants to trade him because I think they want to get some value because if he wants out, then he's just going to leave next year and they're going to get no value for a great player. So I think... Um, they're going to trade him, but I don't think they'll trade him to the West because that's a serious threat to them now. And they could get value from these, say, like a Jason Tatum or a Jalen Brown for Boston, and they can contend in future years. I don't know, like, right now, but in future years. I agree with that, and I think that um, I, I just don't. I can't see him staying in San Antonio, so I think he's going to get traded somewhere. Yeah. That's it for Play-by-Play Play Sports Network. I'm Valen, this was Mason and Simon. Good night.